Monets, it's Tia, aka Everyday Monet, and I have a haul for you on new press-on nails, because you know how much I love press-on nails. If you aren't one of my Monets, please go ahead and just hit that subscribe button. If you are already a Monet and you like this type of video, please give it a little thumbs up so I know what kind of content to make. So in this video, we're going to go through some of the new nail styles. I'm going to put some nails on. And then um, I also want to talk as I'm doing the nails about some changes that are going to be coming to my channel. So let's get to it. One of the newer styles, it's not the newest, is this Diamond Effects 3D gel. And it's sort of like a white, see, and then the iridescent situation going on. So cute. They also have these sort of tan matte um, with this shattered glass sort of design on it. And this one is called One Shine Day. And the first one was called Fingers Crossed. Oop. Fingers Crossed. The next one is called Shocking. And it's this muted heather blue sort of color. And then this like sparkly accent nail. You can see that there. Oh, I can't wait to wear those. And I found some ones that are actually older style. This is just their plain black, which is called Text Appeal. This has been around. And you can see this is older because it used to come in this like case thing that was like a nail, nail polish um, container. And I love them because that's what I would keep the extra nails in. Um, now it just comes in this container. And I just love these regular black ones. I used to wear these all the time. Um, I don't know how these still were around, but I love them, so I grabbed them. And the next one that I saw that just giving me kind of like fall vibes, this is called Boogie Down, and there are these like sparkly sort of peachy with this maybe like pumpkin spice metallic accent nail. Um, so those are really cool. The last one I got for this time is in the style called Boss Lady, and it's this matte purple with the like shattered glass sort of accent nail. So I think these are the ones I'm going to put on today and so we'll start doing that and I will talk to you about some changes coming up on my channel. I'm coming up on a year. Um, I started this channel in August of 2017 so I'm coming up on my year anniversary and I've been thinking a lot about my channel and where is it going um, and what I want to do with it and goals and things like that and just cold goals in my life in general um, if you've watched I'll, I'll link it here but I did put a video up on why I decided to start a channel um, at my age which at that point was was 40 all of that still holds true but the biggest thing was it was like a passion and and of mine and I wanted to you know make sure that I'm trying and doing the things that I'm passionate about and I have a few different types of passions but um, in this year on YouTube I really have learned that I love doing it I love the process of just filming and editing and planning I like that whole process something that I've been toying with for a really long time is the types of videos I have on my channel. Um, I'm not sure I really go into like my background or my history or anything on any of my videos too much. I mean maybe a tag video here and there. Um, but I have uh, a bachelor's degree in applied behavioral science. I have a master's degree in community psychology and I have several years of a PhD in psychology completed. Um, I'm on a very long hiatus from that. I have worked both as a therapist and also as a life coach. Um, and so I have some different interests and areas of expertise um, that I think I would really like to explore in, term, in, in a lot of different ways. So one of those ways is I have had a goal to complete a book for a very long time. Um, I do write. I have written several fiction novels that are almost always almost complete but not quite. Um, but I have actually completed uh, some different 
novels and books and things. Um, not going to get too much into that. But one of the goals is for me, I wanted to write a relationship book. And it's called Love Lessons. I am in the process of writing it. Um, it's, it's a labor of love in and of itself. I do feel very confident that I will complete this book by the end of this year. That is my goal. And so some of the things that I've been writing about, I think, you know, it would make really great videos. Like, I'm 41, I'm single, trying to date, and um, whether you're in your 40s or it's just post-divorce, it just becomes super complicated when you're older and you have kids. And the rules just are so different than they were when I was younger. And just the world is much different. It's changed quite rapidly. And I also feel like, you know, the main thing that people say is this whole, like, online dating. I'm not saying I've never done online dating. I'm not saying it's never been successful. But at this point in my life, I'm, like, completely... And I'm looking down at my nails. That's why I keep doing that. I'm completely, like, turned off by the situation. And so, lately I've been really just trying to focus more on just loving myself and becoming a better person every day and less with dating. That's partially where this whole like Love Lessons book came from. I've been doing research on it for a very, very long time. Um, they're not just my own love lessons. I have been speaking with people, doing polls on Facebook for like... A long time asking different questions and I've taken all the things that I have learned from other people applied it to not only my own personal experience um, but my professional and educational experience as well and and putting together this book so I think like what I'm gonna do is start adding some relationship based videos um, onto my channel as well as the beauty videos. Ooh, look at the accent nails! And the other thing that I'm really interested in, and it's really, it's it's almost a joke and people, and it shouldn't even be a joke like that. My original goal was to go to school for forensic psychology. Um, I have always been very overly interested in true crime, serial killers, especially like vintage crime, things like that. Um, and I've been toying around with doing true crime based videos. And honestly, like when I started my channel, I wanted to do true crime. And it was like trying to figure out if I should do beauty related videos or true crime. And I've, I've studied a lot about how to make your YouTube channel successful and I've been trying to put um, what I've learned to to use. I watch video influencers, um, I watch, it's like Nick Hammond or something. Um, I'll put, I'll link their channels and I really try to take what they um, teach and put it into practice. What they have to say is great and wonderful and I love their tips. And I think if you're really trying to, like, make money on YouTube, what they're saying is super important. Uh, and one of their tips was, like, not to mix genres, really. To just, you know, like you would a business. Like, you get a niche and you go with it. Um, and that's great. But I'm not doing YouTube to, like, be a millionaire or anything. I do it because it's a hobby and I enjoy it. And I feel like because of that... I also want to make sure that I'm happy with it. And in order to do that, I really want to add some true crime. So I'm still going to upload three times a week. Um, I may upload even more. I'm still going to have beauty videos because I absolutely love doing them. But I am going to be adding in some relationship, you know, based videos. And I'm also going to be doing some true crime. So if you have any topics topics if you have any topics if you have any topics or suggestions with regard to either of those two genres please let me know um, if you have any thoughts or feelings about my decision to not change but add to my content you know also let me know that um, the last part of it is because I am going to be adding these videos I am going to change the name of my channel. So it's still going to say Everyday Monet. Um, 
maybe for a while, but I'm just going to change my channel to Tia Maria, that's my name, um, and then that way I'm not necessarily like misleading people when they see my name and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts, you know, chat with you about what I've shared with you. Um, I want to show you my nails. Oh my gosh. And they're like this matte. These ones are matte. I think this is super cute. I just love these press on nails. Like, I just do. I hope, like, if I ever get any type of, like, sponsorship or PR or anything, I, like, hope it's from the Impressed press on nails because I've loved them since before, like, way before YouTube. I've loved them for so many years. I loved them when they barely stayed on for, like, two days. I love them when they were so thick that it was just challenging to even use them. So anyway, if anyone's watching, thank you so much for just tuning into this video. Um, again, I really want to get your feedback. Um, whatever you're doing, I hope you're just living your best life, living your dreams, living your passion, and I hope to see you in my next video. If you're not subscribed, please uh, consider doing so. If you're already one of my Monets and you've been supporting me for the last year, I just, I can't even tell you what it means to me. Mwah, mwah, mwah. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.